All right, welcome back. Today we're at the track. This is Thursday. We're going to be doing a combination of acceleration work and some max velocity work. We're going to have a complex of sled sprints, bounds, and sprints to start off the day. Then we're going to move into some max velocity work where we're going to get the timing eyes out and kind of time a 10 meter split and see how fast we can get on those splits today. And that's pretty much the session for today is just going to be doing those sprints. This is the same session I did last week. The progression is on the acceleration complex. We're adding five meters to each of those movements. So the heavy sled sprint is going to be 15 meters this week versus last week's 10 meters. The acceleration bound 15 meters this week versus last week's 10 meters. And then the acceleration, which is just going to be a short sprint, is going to be 15 meters versus last week's 10 meters. The number of sets will stay the same. So I think we're going to do four sets on all of those. 30 to 45 second rest in between each of the, the movements. And then a three minute rest after we finish that set. Try to get close to as recovered as possible so we can keep the intensity high on each of those sets. After we finish the acceleration complex, we're going to move into some max velocity work. Last week for the max velocity work, I did three reps of a 10 meter build into a 10 meter all out sprint. I measured that last 10 meters and I think I went 113, 115, 112. This week, we're going to try to increase the amount of velocity we can hit in that 10 meter split. So we're going to take that 10 meter build and extend it out to 15 meters today, try to get up a little bit more speed, which when we bring the timing eyes out today and we time that last 10 meter split, we should see faster times on that 10 meters versus last week. So I'm hoping to get, you know, somewhere around a 110, 109-ish um, range, I think is doable, depending on how things feel. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, I stayed up late last night putting together a presentation that I'm doing for some strength and conditioning coaches at different universities throughout the US. Um, haven't done a PowerPoint in a long time, so I've been trying to figure out how to put things together, organize the slides, make it a way that I think is gonna be of value to whoever I'm gonna be speaking to. <clears throat> and then I had to get up early today, get here, get to the track, knock out my session, because I've got a long day of doing stuff. I gotta go pick up my daughter at daycare today. I gotta make sure I get everything done prior to needing to go pick her up. So today's gonna be a busy day. So a little bit less sleep than normal, but we'll make sure that we get warmed up nice and good, and then we'll get started on that acceleration complex. So first off, Thank you to everyone who is interacting with the videos. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed. If you guys are watching the videos, I really appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, take a moment here real quick, like the video, subscribe, and now let's get after it. All right, real quick. I am in the middle of my warm up, but today I just wanna give a shout out to all the old people who are always in here every single day, just walking laps. Right now, we're gonna do an old person count. It is about 15 minutes into the session. I'm going through some of my mobility warm up stuff and we've got a total of about one, two, three. We've got four old people on site right now. So I repeat, we have four old people on site. We're gonna see how much this grows throughout the session today. All right, so for the acceleration complex, as you can see, my focus is really just projecting myself forward as hard as possible. So you'll see there on the sled, foot contact should be slightly below or behind the hip, accelerating yourself forward. On the bound, a little bit more of like a jumping action, clearing more ground, but same focus, drive that foot down into the ground as hard as possible. And then go into the excel, you're sprinting, maintaining the same angles, but you're just making that action a lot more quicker because you're going through your acceleration. First set's done. 15 meters feels good. I don't know how that's gonna come out, but my plan with that first clip is to slow it down, break down kind of that first two to three steps on each of those movements, explain how they're similar yet different. So hopefully when I'm doing the editing, that slow motion comes out and it doesn't look super choppy and bad, but we'll, we won't know until we get there. So that's kind of the focus there. I'll pre-apologize if it's choppy. So if it is choppy, I apologize for that, but hopefully 
that slowed down version gave you a little insight on what those first two to three steps really should be focused on when doing a complex like this. So we got three more sets of that, then we're gonna go into the flies. I'm scanning right now our old person counter. We're gonna call it the OPC, just in case they walk by as I say this. Some of them understand English, so I don't wanna offend them by calling them old, but they're older than me, so I consider them old. Um, our OPC is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's about 15 people right now. So current OPC, 15 people. All right, OPC update. We got three over here, two over there, so that's five. Um, you guys probably can't see this, but six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then there's two people standing over there. So still, OPC is fifteen. Sets done of the complex. Got one more. Feels really good today. Sleds a little bit heavy. It's the same weight as it was last week. It just feels a little bit heavier. The acceleration bounds and that acceleration feels really good today. I'm feeling like I'm very springy, exploding off of those first few steps and able to carry that through. So we're going to do one more and then we're going to set up the cones and get ready for the max flies. And then for those max flies, we'll end up doing three reps on that since we did three last week. So, feels really good. OPC update, four, eight, 10, still at 15. We have a steady OPC throughout the morning. I like it. Alright, we got everything set up. Cones right here. I'm gonna be building up from back here. Kind of you can kind of see the sled. That's where I'm gonna start my build up. Hit the green cone. Green means go. So we're gonna go all out 10 meters to this red cone. I'll have the sensor on my waist and we'll be able to get a 10 meter split. So let's lace it up and see how it goes. This is surprising. A 104 was not what I was expecting to hit. I was thinking about 108 to 110. So that's a surprising number to see on there. Said I hit 9.62 meters per second. A very surprising result. A 104, thinking, I mean, if we can continue to hit anything below 106 on the next two reps, I'm very excited for what's going to happen when we test this again and should go for like our full build up into a 10 meter fly here in probably six to eight weeks. So that's a good number. 104, not bad. All right, your boy is flying today. That one, I almost felt like I fell or almost felt like I was going to trip. I don't know what's going on. These numbers were not expected, but I'll take them. 104, 102. I'm gonna rest up real good and then just send it. I'm gonna try to get 99. If I can get 99 off a 15 meter build, whew, that means 
We're going to have some 40 yard dash PBs. We're going to have some flying 10 PBs coming here in the next block or two. So, this is an exciting day. 102. That's like 22 ish, 21, high 21 miles an hour. I'll take it. Almost. All right. So splits today. Split number one, 104. Set number two, hit a 102. I felt off, felt like I was going to trip. So I knew that one second mark was going to be very achievable. Set number three, one second exactly. So wanted the .99. I'll take a 1.0. But that's very encouraging given the fact that it was only a 15 meter build, which means a couple things. I'm getting faster through the first 15 because I'm getting a little bit more velocity going into that 10 meters. Hitting 1.0, which is 10 meters per second, puts me at 22.4 miles per hour. And if I can hit that with a 15 meter build, then I would assume going into a 30 meter build, which is what I do my test at, that I should be somewhere close to like a low 90, so like 90 to 92 on a flying 10, given that I can get 15 meters extra to kind of build up in velocity before I hit the, the timing eyes. So that, I mean, that puts me at like very low four threes on a 40, because that would be very high 23 to 24 miles an hour and if you can hit 24 miles an hour you're very close to breaking that 4-3 mark so very encouraging day today I love the numbers that I saw I felt it like I said on the acceleration complex the bounds and the excels I just felt like I was bouncing off the ground and very explosive off those first few steps so I'll take it that's great not too bad for being 38 years old as well. So, <laughs> that's going to be it for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, real quick, before I go. Final OPC. We've got, you guys probably can't see it because the lens I'm using, but we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 12, 13, 14. Did I miss anybody? Final OPC for the day, 14. Again, appreciate you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.